And welcome, folks. Welcome, one and all, to Space Hulk. Another game that I've been watching for quite a while with how it's been, well, being developed and all this kind of thing, because I was a huge, huge fan of the original game. And I wouldn't ever say that I was any good at the first game, because I certainly wasn't. I was a novice at best, and I barely managed to get through the first Deathwing campaign. I really was not that good. Either way, we're going to be playing this game. Now, I have looked at reviews of it, and I have had a quick playthrough of it. It's certainly a... Uh, I don't know what to expect, really, folks. I've heard good things and I've heard bad things. Now, I think it's really for the hardcore sort of Warhammer 40k fans, more than anything. Without further ado, folks, we're just going to get straight into this. We're going to start a new campaign. Oh, we can actually go right into the Sin of Damnation. We're going to do the boarding prequel to start off with. We're going to do Beachhead, because these are some of the ones that are actually our in the original game. Our boarding torpedoes have breached the Sin of Damnation, and the sound of our bolters rings true through its corridors. It is imperative that we secure the Beachhead before the Gene Stealers can mount a coordinated counterattack. All flanks must be secured to give us time to reinforce our position. Sergeant of the Squad, accept your orders. So I'm the One squad will be sufficient. <laughs> you will deploy your Terminators here. We have predicted the enemy routes of attack. Defend the breach until a beachhead has been established. Sounds like a plan. So basically the, the storyline of Space Hulk, and I actually believe from the opening cutscene, I haven't recorded it, because there is no, this is how silly it is, there's no way I can actually get that recording without, I don't know what it is. Something keeps distorting on the sound when I try to record it. Not 100% what's going on there. But either way, it's a reference, the cutscene at the start, is a reference to the first Space Hulk, which I played on the Amiga. The Amiga had some fantastic music for it, for the record. The music for the Amiga was unbelievably awesome. If you haven't heard it, go check it out on YouTube. What we're going to do, establish the beachhead. In the first game, I think it was the same storyline, the Sin of Damnation, which was a huge Space Hulk. For those who don't know what a Space Hulk is, a Space Hulk is a normally a Deris... Well, it could be an asteroid, actually. Um, an old base, an old uh, derelict ship. Basically some kind of Hulk of metal, rock, asteroid, whatever, that comes together um, where people can live on it. Oh, that sounds silly, but the Orcs use them quite a lot. They'll fill them, fill a, a space hulk with, you know, their own kind, then hurl it at a system, whatever planet it lands on. Obviously, the orcs assault, basically. So in this one, the Terminator squad that you command um, comes across. We've part of the Blood Angels chapter, I think, um, and it actually comes across the space hulk, and we go and investigate it. Now, this particular space hulk has gene stealers on board, which are some of the in the sort of fluff and the law, they're, they're actually... They don't actually seem as powerful as they are in the original Space Hulk and in this one. But the idea was the Terminators were actually developed to fight the Gene Stealers. Let's get on with it. Beachhead. This is all a bit of a prequel bit. I know, a, I know a good bit about this one. So we choose here to deploy our squad. We've got Brother Goriel and Brother Dino. So we'll deploy them there. We walk with death. Bloody blah, I know how to do that. So we've got action points with our actual Terminator squad themselves. Now, you can move up to four spaces. Now, we can get here in two moves, which is kind of useful. Thing is, he will be facing the wrong way, annoyingly. It takes one action point to actually move, if you see what I mean, uh, to rotate your, rotate your Terminator. Now, he, I think I'm going to put him there, I think. I'm actually going to have him facing that way. So you can see up here we've actually got a, a picture of, you know, roughly what's going on. Going to end our turn. Now, CP stands for... 
I think it's command points. Now, ca command points can actually be added on to the action points to take a few extra moves. You've got to be careful with them. Now I'm going to place this dude in Overwatch. Automatically shoots at enemy targets in line of sight. Weapon at the ready. Very useful. I'm going to keep the uh, Terminator covered with this other Terminator. Now if we were to Overwatch now, it came out of that, uh, the command points. Now you can see where the gene seals are going to... Ah, right, okay, so they're coming out of that bit today. Okay. So... Yeah, okay. So actually, we need to move him to... I don't know, actually. I think I might just stay in Overwatch holding. for a bit longer. Order confirmed. Holding. Now where are they going to come from? Oh, nice shot there, you fool. Okay, you should be able to shoot him a good few times, though. Boom! <laughs> well said, Gorya. Now, I am quite a big fan of Overwatch. You know, either waiting for them to come to us, really. Right, so... Okay, hold on. You know, I think we're in quite a good position here. I don't think there's much point watch doing initiated. much else yet. Holding position. Where did you get him? Hey, good shot, Goriel. Good shot, dude. Okay, so if we move... Hmm, I don't know here, really. If I move him to there... <laughs> okay, crushing the gene stealer there. Make him face that way. Now, I would imagine that there is still going to be some gene stealers coming out of... Well, I'd think... These two sides. So they, they can come from any direction, basically. Let's see what they're going to do. Where are they going to come from? Okay, they're coming from there. Alright, okay, darn it. Okay, so we've got... Now this could go pretty badly. Initiating attack. Good shooting, we didn't quite hit him. Ah, you got him that time though. Cleanse the monstrosity. Good shot, Dino. Good shot. Going into Overwatch. Now, going to Overwatch as well, Gariel. Order confirmed. Holding. Come on, you gene stealer scum. Boom. So we've got five more gene stealers to kill here. I think I want to be a bit cocky, I think. Should I move forward a bit? Because if I was to move... Hmm... Yeah, I'll, I'll move this way, and then I'll probably bring that guy to here to cover our backs. Now, some people don't like this game, from what I've read, that it is kind of luck. Sometimes you will win, sometimes you won't. And I think what they've tried to do, and they've done it, I think, very well, is if you played the original Space Hulk board game, it is very much like that. It is a roll of a dice. As you can see, we've got the dice rolls going on down here. So, in a lot of ways... Overwatch protocol initiated. They've recreated it as best they can, really. And I'm fine with that. I mean, I played this game, you know, originally on the Amiga. Now, let me tell you, this game was difficult. There is just no two ways about it. There was times when I screamed at this game and how annoyed I was with it. But... At the same time, there is a difficult learning curve, but it had a certain charm. Okay, where are they going to come from? Right, we don't know. Okay. Hold on. Revealing a... I didn't know this bit. Revealing a blip. Okay. 
Right, if a blip is revealed, da da da. Right. Okay, so that's an entry area. That's an entry area. Right, I see. So I didn't I didn't know that part of the game. Okay. Now I'm actually going to do a bit of a double overwatch here, I think. Overwatch there. Overwatch there. They also have a power fist, by the way, folks, if you want to go into melee. One thing about the original on the Amiga was, if you went into melee, it was pretty... It was very rare you actually won the melee versus the Gene Stealer. Uh, there's some here. There's one lurking there. Oh, there's two lurking there. Right, okay. Now that's a little bit scary. Hmm, okay, well... Now with this guy, I'm actually going to keep him in Overwatch. Let them come. I'm going to have you move back one space, which costs two AP, and put you straight back Overwatch. into Overwatch. So they're coming. Multiple targets acquired. Oh, good shot, dude. Okay, missed on that second shot, which is all right. Oh no, you got him. Good shooting, dude. Whoa, we've got a few on this side. Oh, flip. Oh, funk. And that problem we've got as well. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right, I've got a choice to make here. Now, you're gonna... There's no two ways about it. He's gonna have to stay in... Oh, I don't know here. Darn it. Already lost. Oh, you see, we, we can take two more shots here. Darn it. I think I might actually put him in a, in a guarded position, because that basically allows an automatic reroll of assault dice. Prepare yourself, brothers. Because there's no way, because if he gets into melee, it's going to be bad anyway. Now you, you're going to back off one more space again. Stay alert, brothers. Okay. Come on, Dino and Goriel. Now this is going to be a melee. Darn it. See what I mean, folks? Malie really does not do us... What can I say? You can't say Whoa! What the funk? <laughs> Alright then, folks. Well, I got destroyed on the first training mission. That is... <laughs> right. That is pretty much typical Space Hulk. Now, again, this game got some bad press, but for me, I'm already enjoying it, because I know the game, I would say, fairly well, and I've had a lot of time with it. And that is typical Space Hulk. I was killed on the training mission. <sighs> and this type of game makes you go back again and again and again. You have failed the Emperor. I think I have.